everyone how are you all today it is freezing cold here today and we've had loads of snow showers and rain and it's only one degree it's really nasty it was a rough old night it was very windy and oh not very nice at all and the snow isn't settling because it's been raining all night and so it's just not settling on the ground but it is snowing oh what rough old weather some parts of Britain have been absolutely deluged with snow so if you're in that part of Britain I'd love to see a picture because I love the snow but um, yeah we don't seem to get it that very very often here anyway I've got my two beautiful girls to show you today I've got Charlotte and Jessica and I have ordered them in the sale some matching outfits but this is as close as I could get for Christmas. My sweet little Jessica here who was reborn by my dear friend Suzanne of Baby Bunting Nursery. She has painted dark hair and dark blue eyes. She's got absolutely beautiful eyes and she is wearing a red pinafore dress with smocking at the top. And it's got a robin at the bottom and the robin is holding a letter and there's parcels and letters on the floor and the robin's got some rather nice little boots on and this is a little Bowden pinafore dress and she has got a babadoo lift your chin sweetie she's got a babadoo um, onesie on with a lovely white lace collar and I think she looks adorable. She's got these little um, pinafore dresses have a floral underskirt to them, which I'll show you. Let me see if I can just put you down a little bit and I can show you. It's got a floral underskirt to it that's really nice. It's like a pale green with dark green leaves and it's got strawberries all over it. Absolutely beautiful. She's got some white socks with lace around them and a little pair of white mayoral shoes and it's got a little white bow on the front so she's got little white shoes on let me show you there they are very pretty little shoes and next to her is my little charlotte they're both the saskia sculpt by bonnie brown but both reborn in totally different ways and my little charlotte here she was reborn by Sharon Roddis of Sprinkles of Fairy Dust here in the UK, whereas um, little Jessica was made in Australia. And she's got blonde hair and very pale blue eyes, beautiful blue eyes. Their skin tones are very similar, which is lovely. I love that because that's peaches and cream is what I like. And she has got the green pinafore dress on with a smocking on the top that Jessica had on earlier. And it's got two bunnies on the bottom, a white bunny and a grey bunny. And they've both got crowns on their head, gold crowns. And she's got a babadoo onesie with a white lace collar as well. And she is wearing... And this has also got the floral underskirt with the um this one hasn't got strawberries on it this one's got flowers in pink and white in cream and she's got a pair of white socks on with frills round them in lace and she's got that lovely little pair of shoes that are like a white with a pink glitter on and I think they look absolutely gorgeous on her so there they both are and they've got the little elf the Christmas elf in between them bless them they look adorable don't they I think they look gorgeous together and as I said I have got them some matching outfits in the Christmas sale which is well not the Christmas sale the January sales um one little outfit from Bowden and one little outfit from M & Co, which is um, a brand here in the UK. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting those. And I'll just have a little sip of my tea. I bought a cup of 
Christmas tea up today because I've got a bit of a sore throat so I'm hoping I'm not coming down with a cold mm. and you see I'm using my Christmas mug Dana it's lovely I've been using it all Christmas oh that's gorgeous I love Christmas tea it's got like cinnamon and spices in it it's lovely we get it from Marks and Spencer's and I wanted to show you something I got in the mail this morning because we actually got some mail today and I got a Christmas card and yes Susie it got here this is from my friend Susie of Ruby Rose Reborns in America and she was worried it wouldn't get here because she put I think she said she put the wrong stamp on it but it got here look at that it's a lovely card and it's got deer and rabbits in the snow and a little fox too and it says peace on earth and there's a little hedgehog and a robin and it's got a beautiful christmas tree and there's other trees and it's all sparkly i don't know if you can see the sparkles it's very nice and it says wishing you happiness hope and love as you celebrate the season of goodwill merry christmas love susie isn't that gorgeous? So it did get here, Susie. I'll put it there with the babies so that you can see it. Now that's great, isn't it? It's really good. We watched the Call the Midwife um, Christmas special yesterday afternoon, and that was really good. I really enjoyed it, but it did make me cry. So if you're going to watch it, be warned. It is very sad. Um, and strangely enough it was about 1962 when we had really bad snowstorms here in the uk and i remember it i was just about 11 years old when it happened and there were no milkmen or because those days you didn't have like big supermarkets so you had individual milkmen and a baker and a greengrocer and those type of things that used to come round in their vans and we used to get things off them um and the milkman used to bring butter and all sorts with him cream and orange juice in bottles um but none of them could get round because of the snow and i was the eldest in the house then and i remember me and my dad going walking the mile up to the town center or to the the depot to get some milk and some bread and everything for the house because we didn't have anything and we went and we got some powdered milk and we got some cond condensed milk if any of you know that very sweet i love it and some carnation milk i'll never forget doing it because the snow was so deep i kept falling over and me and my dad had a good laugh because he had to keep pulling me out of these snow drifts and the snow came over the top of my wallet and boots <laughs> it was so funny but we it took us ages i mean i was well wrapped up i think i had a jumper a cardigan and a big duffel coat and a scarf that my mum had sewn up the back so it was a hood and a scarf as well so that was wrapped all around my mouth so my mouth and my cheeks didn't get cold and it was pulled tight over my ears and I had two pairs of gloves on a little pair and a big pair and yeah woolly tights you know well wrapped up but my goodness were we cold but we had so much fun because we you know my dad was always joking about he was lovely my dad really miss him still love you dad still miss him every Christmas and every birthday and you know just generally miss him but yeah we had great fun mucking about and chucking snowballs at each other and everything and yeah so it was weird that call the midwife was about that time because i have so many happy memories of that i mean so much snow it was terrible and it lasted for weeks it wasn't just a few days it lasted for weeks and things came to a total standstill we're not very good in the UK for things like that we're not very organized so but of course last night here it was raining all night so they couldn't grit the roads or anything so if if the snow does settle we're gonna have ice underneath the snow which won't be very good but anyway 
I bought my two little Saskia girls to see you, my gorgeous Jessica and my gorgeous Charlotte to see you. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing them and the little Christmas elf too. I think he'll be going back to Santa soon, but my little elf, Alfie is going to stay because he's a, like Sue's, Sue Drinkwater's Alvin. He's a woodland elf, so he's going to be staying. I must take him out of his Santa outfit, actually. And I must do a, a video again with little Noelle because I haven't done much with her because I haven't had a Christmas outfit that small for her. But yeah, that's just me thinking aloud. <laughs> just ignore me anyway you all have a good rest of your day i'm going to go downstairs and we're going to watch a film we watched death on the Nile yesterday which is an old film from 1978 uh, which is an agatha christie book into a film and that was very good really enjoyed that i hope they actually do that at the cinema because when we went to see um the Orient Express, Murder on the Orient Express, it does finish where Poirot is going off to Egypt and I'm wondering if they might make a film of Death on the Mile. I'm hoping so, so fingers crossed for that. Anyway, you all have a good rest of your day and it's lovely chatting with you and thank you for all your lovely comments and for your continued subscribing and watching of my channel. It means the world. Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>